Hello, and welcome back to part three, the final part of the, um, of this building car tutorial. Um, this is finalizing the car. Um, so, as you know from parts one and two, I selected the chassis and the engine already, um, I will make a turbocharged variant for this car later, so don't you worry. Um, we'll customize the look later. Um, because I kind of want the looks to be on my bottom priority. Now, I think rear-wheel drive would probably fit this car the most. <laughs> Although, you get more wheel spin. Uh, it's very simple. And it's, um... Now, as for automatics, um, I would not recommend doing that for a sports car. I'll do a manual, because those are the one that, because it's actually the most basic and the least expensive kind of gearbox. So, anyways, now as for sequential, it's basically um, an improved version of the manual. It almost doesn't require a clutch, except when you're trying to get into first gear. And dual clutch, well, you can do either manual or automatic mode. So, however, we're just going to stick with manual for right now. I'll probably stick with 6 speed to keep it basic. We'll just increase the top speed. You'd limit to about 180 miles an hour. We're gonna keep this like geared LSD, um, because let's face it, I don't really um like cars with um li electronic limit slip differentials and all this fucking horse shit. All right, um, we're gonna w um make the rear the rear tires a little larger. Alloy rims. Obviously, we're not doing drum brakes because no, those don't stop very well. Now, then a disc is probably going to be one of your best friends if you want to build a basic sports car, which is something I'm doing. Three piston all round. We'll screw on that stuff later. And. As for the under tray, we're not doing an under tray just yet. Well, we kind of want this to be a two and two. Although, to be fair, nah, forget it. Let's just go two seats. Print standard infotainment. Variable hydraulic. Electronic stability control. And standard um, 2000 safety. Active sport or active? Now let's go. Uh, standard, well, the tire suspension just says it all. Standard is basically the stuff you typically see on like Econa boxes, shit like that. Um, progressive, it makes it a little more um, drivable and a little more comfortable than standard. Now, high drop, high drop pneumatic, this would be your worst enemy. If you're trying to build a sports car, but likely one of your best friends if you're trying to build a very drivable, comfortable, prestigious, and off road capable vehicles. Or vehicle, I meant. Um, now, with air suspension, it's basically a compromise between reliability, drivability, sportiness. You get the idea. Um, active sport, well, it's basically. Um, sports is spent, actually meant for sports car. Um, with active comfort, you only just get, um, less drivability, less sportiness, and only a little more comfort and more off-road. Gas motor tube is the most reliable of them all. And the third sportiest, so we'll go for that. Sports suspension setup. Doing pretty well in the sport budget um, market. 
Okay, looks like we're doing fairly well. I will finalize the car, um, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now I'm finally um done. When it comes to, well, I'm not not even close to done with when it comes to fixtures and looks. I don't even start with that, but I am done when it comes to finalizing the uh, you no know, the rest of the car performance base. That sort of stuff. Um, I um some of it may, will likely be changed when I do add some fixtures like spoilers and shit. Um, anyways, the fixtures that's absolutely my favorite part. Wait a minute, no, no. How would do convertible? Because. Yeah, I mean, now I get to style the car however you like. Um, get to morph its, um... Get to morph how it looks. Um, I think morphing the body style is probably my favorite part, because it's a lot, it's definitely a lot of fun once you get used to it. Now, as for the color, hmm, definitely a midnight blue. Ah, uh, yes. And we can make the wheel arches larger to fit bigger tires. Although we're not going to do that for this, because this is like the, like, um, the mid-level trim. Now onto the fixtures. Now this, this right here, is my absolute favorite part. No, I actually screw it. Um, I'm going to do a part four for the fixtures. Like, so yeah. See you in in the next part in five seconds.